Hey everyone, welcome to Robo Gaming. We're back with some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and we are in this water temple nightmare. Um, because there's piranhas everywhere and they want to eat us, but I want some magic skills that pay the bills, so. Why is there a bat on there? Why is there a bat in everything at the moment? There's a bat in Arkham Knight, which kind of goes without saying, to be honest. Um, it's not letting me do anything with that, I'm afraid. Do I have to... Have to lower the water level. No, yeah, I understand that, Lara. But you're not pushing the thing. What? Is it me? Am I the problem? Have to lower the water level. I thought I were onto something with this, but apparently I'm not. I'm full of this stuff. Have Why am I over here? Level. Lara. I'm aware. What's the problem here? I'm pressing it every way it can be pressed. Are we alright? Oh, I really thought this was going to be it. I have to lower the water level. And then I have to tie that to there, probably. Do I have to lower the water level by moving that thing? That'd make sense. But this won't turn. What am I missing? There's something else here that I've not identified. Have to lower the water level. She has to lower the water level. This isn't spinning, Have to but it's a water, water wheel. Level. How many times do you think she had to record that voice line? Because I've heard about three different tones. What's over there? Have to lower the water level. Is it me? Am I the problem? Right, it wanted me to get over here. I'm over here. It says press this, I press this. I'm pressing all of the buttons. And nothing's a thing. What's that all about? Have to lower the water level. Do I have to jump onto this? Nope, you can't shoot your bow in this. Have to lower the water level. Oh, now all the fish are gonna get me. No, they're not. I'm just gonna swim really fast. Have to lower the water level. Okay, so clearly something's not happening, right? So what do we do about that? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to swim over to this. Try not to get eaten by piranhas. Now, that is the way that I came from, I think. Ugh. Have to lower the water level. Did I just ignore this? This is the way back. Have to lower the water level. This is the way back. Lara. This could sure. be the way out. Oh, okay, that's the way out. Well, that's good to know. 
But what is the way in? Have to lower the water level. Lara. Work with me here. Come on, we've been friends for all this time. Okay, it's been me and you against the world. I feel like something isn't working because surely that thing should just turn. Right? I'm going to struggle for one more minute. so mad. I've got no words. Am I doing this the wrong way? I think... Uh, who knows? Listen. Just wasted five minutes of my life doing that, so um, everybody can chill. <clears throat> She's doing it really slowly. In my, was it moving the first time round? Oh... So guys, um, all you had to do was lower the water level. Who knew? Oh yeah, Lara did. Have to lower the water level. I've just lowered it. <laughs> Me and you, Lara, are gonna fall out. This game is gonna be the end of us. Now, oh, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Did all the piranhas die? Probably not, right? So I've done something. Yeah, no, all the piranhas are still alive. I've done something. What's the problem here? The problem is this water wheel doesn't turn. Can I get back up here? Yeah. Can I move this back? And if I do, can I make the water wheel turn? Is that rope going to snap if it's underwater? I've got so many questions, and the answer is basically just wait and see. Oh. Oh, never mind. I was going to say the water level didn't get higher, but there it goes, look. <clears throat> Maybe the water wheel wasn't turning because the water level was too high. Or maybe it was in the wrong place. Shut right up. The rope can't support the strain. Damn it. Okay. What does that tell me? Have to lower the water level. The rope can't support the strain. Does that mean I have to be quick? Because if it is, then we're all stuffed. There's nothing else that I could, like, attach it to. Nothing that I could see anyway. <clears throat> Maybe I've just got to be quick. Should we try just being quick? Have to lower the water level. Because I'm over this, if I'm honest. And I don't want to swim with those piranhas no more. The There's going to be nothing down there of interest to me apart from some plants, right? So, 
is what we're going to do. We've attached that to that again. It stayed for like a reasonable amount of time, didn't it? I'm just going to have to wait two to three working days for this to turn around to the way that I want it to. And then we're just going to run for it, okay? Do we run for it or do we swim for it? I think I can run quicker than I can swim. Maybe. Depends who we ask, I suppose. <clears throat> Those zombies can definitely run quicker than I can most of the time. Are we ready? The second it starts moving, we're off. Go. Keep going, keep running. Yeah, no, that weren't having it, were it? Have to lower the water level. Me and Lara are gonna fall out. So we figured out how to lower the water level. That is like part one. We figured out how to open the door, that's part two. How do I stop it from snapping? That is the big question. She definitely takes way too long pushing that. I'm not blaming myself for this. Hmm. There's no possible way I can swim there in time. Do I need to leave it on the water wheel? Like, can I just take it off? Is that a thing? Excuse me. Let's try. I mean, we'll be very quick to find out. We've either got to try taking it off the water wheel. Has that ever worked before? I don't think so. Um, and if we can't take it off the water wheel, then we'll swim for it. I don't want to swim for it first because I don't like it. You know what's funny? In real life, I love swimming. In games. Nothing good ever comes from it. Larry, you're well slow at this. Okay. It's spinning. The door is opening. Oh. We're amazing. Have to lower the water level. Do I? Do I have to lower the water level, or can I just swim through now? I think I can swim through it. Should we try? Have to lower the water level. Oh, Lara, I'm a bit done listening to you, to be honest with you. Have to lower Where are the, the piranhas? Level. They're miles away, that's fine. There we go, I'm in. Now what? A In description. A lost, rural Alashob is akin to the Maya version of a gnome or leprechaun. They're about as high as an adult's knee and wear traditional Maya clothing. They are created whenever a farmer builds a little house on his property for them, after which they'll help the corn grow for a period of seven years, making it rain and chasing off predators. I love them. They're usually invisible, and in spite of their benefit to the land, they like to play tricks on or frighten humans. Don't call They're one invisible. by name, or you'll summon it from its home, and it won't be happy with you. 
How do they know what they look like and how tall they are if they're invisible? I suppose you could know how tall they are, but how are you supposed to know what it's wearing? Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, I've got a skill point. What am I doing? Oh, excuse me, don't mind if I do. Does Lara even know why she's here? Oh, there we go. It's right here. Amazing. You'll love to see it. Take a bit cheeky bit of gold as well. This magic skill best pay the bill. Charged arrows deal more damage against armored enemies. Now to get out of this horrid smelling place. All right then, Lara. No need to call names. Ah! I should be close now. Close to what? Is it the way out? It best be after everything I've just been through. Why did it smell? Or was it because there were corpses in water? That makes sense, doesn't it? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, where now? Not this. Is this the start again? Um, so we just got to go backwards. But be careful because there was an eel near the start, right? I think. Oh yeah, there it is. Run away! Run away! Help! Stab it! Going. A bit quicker if you don't mind, Lara. Oh, is this the music that tells me I'm gonna drown? Is it drowned or drown? I think it's drown. But maybe it's drowned if it's past tense. There we go. We did it. Listen. I'm never coming back here again. When don't we do a challenge to? That'll Full be up. fun. Can't carry any more. Love getting skills. It's horrible. Um. So. Now we just have to get out. Oh, what's over there? We've already been in there. That's where we were looking for the monolith thing, but we found a treasure chest instead, didn't we? You know what we're going to do? We're going to carry on with life. How do we do that? Is something going to come out at me? Oh. Great, we got some tap. What's in the backpack? Secret revealed. Ooh. A survival cache. All right, then, cool. There might have been some other stuff in that place, but you know what? I said I'm never going back, and I meant it. Um. We climb, that's right, I remember now. 
I did actually check that before I jumped in. I can remember doing it. Silly me. Oh, there's a spider in this cave. Best running after it. Don't have enough space for that. And I've already been in that cave. Why don't I remember doing any of this? And who took down my little rope? And what's up there? Oh, it's a different way. What magic skills have we got? We've got one skill point. And that's the thing I just got. Cool. Alright then, well, we've done it now. So that's it. Done. Shut up, I could have gone that way the whole time. Oh, it's a turkey. Calm down everyone. Why do I put myself through this? I just don't know. Anyway. What's the crack? We've got to go to a graveyard. Do you know what? After what we've been through, I don't see why not. Let's pop to the merchant first. I don't care what you want. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Hello, Miss Lady. I would like to see what you've got. She got guns. What's she doing selling guns here? What's this? Law arrows. A lethal trap. What makes it lethal? Uh, I don't want any of those things, thank you. So remind me, we've got to get to the crypt, but we've also got to explore explore the local mysteries, or is that the same thing? Can I turn the waypoint off for her? There we go. Are you the Be local mystery? Go out to the graveyard, miss. A Why? Witch lives there. She <gasps> likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. One lady upset the witch, and then the witch made her disappear. You know something? Hard work is good for the soul. The sect has been maintaining this mission through hard work for over 400 years. Angel de la Cruz and Trullo Serrano arrived here back then and immediately set to work. Their philosophy of labor being the only true way to get closer to God is one we still follow, even now. So Angel de la Cruz was that guy, Lopez? Maybe Lopez. Oh, what's up for you? We'll check this book. This a mission statement. This outlines the goals and works of the mission of St. John. In addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. All right then. I'm happy for them. I'm not talking to all of these people. They're, they're boring me, if I'm honest. Um, they're not telling me anything amazing. I'll learn more from reading every piece of paper I find. The Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion, and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. <laughs> Not Christian Mingle. <laughs> Alright then. We'll just see what's up here, just for the crack. Mm, I'm gonna cut this. No one can stop me. This is an official document. document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, 
they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. So... Apocalypse-wise, we've had floods, we've had earthquakes, we've had storms. So is the next one volcanic eruption? I'm not talking to them. I just don't want to. How do I get back? Oh look, where's Jonah? So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Secret crypt. If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. Right. Is that like a clue? Oh, uh, someone was gonna make me jump then, but I don't know what. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. <laughs> Let's look around for signs of Lopez. Look around for signs of Lopez. How will we know what a sign of Lopez looks like? The founder of the Sector Seven. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. Oh. I want to look around here first. A heron and an eclipse. Ah. Just like the tattoo. 25th of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. How is it 1603 if it's talking about Lopez? Is Lopez not like current day? I, I'm confused. I've confused myself. Oh man, I want to check that out, but I also want to see what this is. I'll see what this is first. A mural. And under his wings you may seek refuge. Under his wings. Under his wings. What is the thing they say in The Handmaid's Tale? Under his eye? Um, cool. Well, I think I'm supposed to go in there, but I'm going to have to do it in the next episode because this is the wrapping up point. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe button. That I will see you next time.